Our in-depth coverage of the Derek Chauvin verdict continues now. 12 News reporter Sheena Lasciuto is live in Providence with what local activists are saying tonight. Sheena, what's it like out there tonight? Well, we were standing by with leaders of Black Lives Matter, Rhode Island, and when the judge came on screen and it was clear a verdict was about to come in, you could hear a pin drop. It was silent, a lot of nerves there. And then as soon as the word guilty was said three times, it was like a big sigh of relief in the room. Now the organization here says there is still a lot more work to be done, but this was a small start. Here's a bit of reaction directly after the verdict came in. I'm feeling, you know, um, positive and I'm feeling a little negative too. So I, I, I think that the jurors came back with a good decision. But again, it takes this type of, 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 of negligence to really pinpoint and show America where they're going wrong at as far as the law. And BLM Rhode Island says there is a lot more work to be done and they will be doing a lot more moving forward all in honor of George Floyd. Now we are hearing that there is going to be some sort of gathering at the state house at six o'clock in Providence. So we'll make sure to get over there as soon as we can. But for now reporting live, I'm Sheena Lushuto, 12 News.